satisfying part. Yes. Yes. I'm Madonna, and this is KitKat, and this is Happening Meow. We're giving you a weekly update on the biggest stories in cat news. So, you may have noticed that I am covered in cat hair, and that is thanks to my lovely cat KitKat, who has plenty of fur to spare. But, because I'm a cat owner, I luckily have one of these. I actually have two. I probably have more. But in the time that it takes me to clean up a bit, I'll tell you about this week's top cat stories. The claws come out for this tough issue, but that might be illegal soon. New Jersey may become the first state to ban declawing. Declawing doesn't just remove the cat's nail, it gets rid of some of the bone in the toe, too. In humans, it's the same as chopping off your finger up to the last knuckle. Last Monday, a new bill was introduced that could ban all vets in the state from performing the procedure. The Humane Society says that people declaw their cats to keep them from scratching. And some people even say this helps them become more adoptable because they won't be as wild. But if the bill passes, anyone who breaks the law could pay up to $1,000 and spend six months in jail. Now that's clawful. In other news, Last week, a cat sanctuary was hit with an airstrike in Aleppo. A lot of cats get left behind with people fleeing the area, but one man decided to stay back and take care of them all. He has a Facebook page which posts daily photos of hundreds of cats in the sanctuary. It's called the House of Cats Ernesto and was made possible through donations online. Thankfully, many cats survived. The Facebook page uploaded pictures of cats being fed in the rubble a day after the airstrike. The latest is that they were actually hit again on Friday, and they're working to move the animals to a new home. It's a sad story, and this cat seems to think so too. This is Ben Ben, a rescue cat from BC. Nine months ago, he was brought to an emergency vet clinic with a crushed ear, a broken spine, and he was told he would never walk again. But, luckily, a vet at the hospital picked him up and never looked back. Ben Ben, the cat cat, has his own Instagram account and started gaining followers fast after an article about him appeared on a cat blog last week. And three days ago, to celebrate 20,000 followers, his owner set up a GoFundMe page. All money raised will go to other cats in need of emergency care. Ben Ben's face will stay sad permanently, but it seems he couldn't be happier. And now he can even jump. It's like magic. And speaking of magic, the producers of the Harry Potter movies is on board to make a ferocious cat movie. Warriors is a book series about four cat clans at war. It's being turned into a movie, and on Sunday, producer David Hyman announced he'll be part of the action. Live action, that is. Although the warrior cats will be computer generated. There's no release date yet, so we'll have to wait and see when they'll let the cat out of the bag. Okay, all done. Now if you'll go excuse me, I'm going to go pet my cat and get even more fur. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. What do you think is the hardest thing to get cat hair out of? Leave me a comment below. This is Madonna and Kit Kat, and that's what's happening meow.